now we will see a basic demonstration of how to initiate netcon connection to a cisco device i have a device with ip 6753 is there in configuration you can see i have configured only management ip default route and i have configured a username and password with privilege 15 now before enabling netconf we will try to initiate a connection and see what happens the command to initiate netconf from terminal is ssh hyphen p by default it runs on port 830 and username 192.168.67.53 so you can see here device is refusing the connection on port 830 now we will enable the feature command is netconf hyphen yeah that's all you need to do by default this enables on port 830 if you want even you can customize all that like ssh port and all now we will see the default now let us try to initiate a connection yeah it is asking for password we will give the password we have now got a message from the device so it is sending all the capabilities you can see this is an xml format and it is a hello message and under hello message you can see it is capabilities so these all are the capabilities what we have seen in the yang model you can see there are vendor specific cisco defined yang data models as well as here ietf defined you can see ietf defined data models as well so it so when i send a request for netconf so first the netconf server or device sends its capabilities now we need to respond you can notice here even the netconf or xml also is in a structured or hierarchical way you can see uh, under hello you can see capabilities and capabilities attribute starts here and it will end here and this delimiter means at the end of the response now I already have kept a certain operations here so you can just copy and paste it what it does it responds to hello message you respond to hello you won't be getting anything in terminal but if there is a syntax error you will be getting uh, error message or session close so here i have defined multiple operations like get config get specific interface configuration assign ip to another interface etc i'll, I'll show it in another video here we will see only how to get the configuration so to get the configuration i have created this i'll copy this here you can see the operation is get config and get config starts here and it ends in under get config i am giving the source as running config i'll copy and paste it now i got the response is in xml format so from here i got from here is my response to format it you can use some online tools you can see it in a structured way
I will paste it here and I will click on preview. Yeah, here you can see the output. So it has passed all the output from the XML. Version is 16.7. Then host name, username, privilege then default gateway interface IP gigabit ethernet 1 the name under interfaces you can see interface name as 1 and other interfaces everything is down you will be able to see and pass the configuration like this there are multiple ways to initiate netconf connection even from python script you will be able to initiate and uh, you can get the output and pass it we will see those in upcoming videos i hope uh, this video was helpful for you to understand how to initiate a netconf connection to a cisco device and get the output thanks for watching see you in the next video